speed app was really helpful during my NEET test preparation, during my FNB preparation, and also this time it really worked out. Used to watch all the videos of speed app. I can't thank them enough the speed team he actually organized a mock interview the night before the actual date of interview and it was quite nice i bring in all the wishes and greetings and behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute team of speed to dr sutrita saha for scoring a topmost rank of aml rank number 6 in mca head and neck surgery congratulations to you doctor thank you thank you so much great doctor can we know about your brief background history from where you started till date what have you done Sir, I completed my MBBS in 2019 and then internship in 2020. Then I got into MS ENT and completed. Which college, doctor? Which medical college it was? So MBBS from College of Medicine, Shahidabad Hospital, and MS from NRS Medical College, Kolkata. And uh, I completed MS in 2023, and I was doing my senior residency in West Bengal. And I opted to give NITSS, MC, uh, NITSS as well as INISS in 2023, and then I gave FNB. Uh, in 2024 and i got a rank of 4 in fnb and then iis has happened and i give that and i track that great doctor wonderful great journey want to know you were a superficiality idea of doing a liking of superficiality when it happened before your pg or after your pg um superficiality sir yes there were mc chennai uh, seats but not much seats and uh, actually MSNT being a mostly an end branch, it's uh, not very common for ENT people to take up head neck surgery as a specialty. But the thing is, when I joined my residency and I started working with many of my seniors, my teachers, I watched them doing surgeries, and I was really keen to learn head neck surgeries. So that's why I wanted to pursue. And one of my teachers is currently doing his MCH in head neck surgery from Ames Delhi only. <laughs> so that was kind of an inspiration. Very nice. Very nice. Great. Now, once you decided to do a MCA head and neck surgery, what all you did and what you how you prepared and to reach this rank, sir? I actually took when I was nearing the end of second year, and uh, I was preparing. I used to watch all the videos of Teja sir and also the general surgery videos of you sir, and those videos were really helpful. And I didn't read a lot of books as far as head neck surgery MCQ is concerned. Uh, I'm sure you're concerned, but I mostly followed the videos because almost the videos that were given by Teja sir, it completed the entire head neck part. So it was quite helpful, and it was I think it was really enough for me to sit for the exam, sir. Great. Now, can you tell me the proportion of questions in the paper? Can you talk me something about tell it something about the paper that in the eighty questions, how much of A and T portion, how much of head and neck portion, how much of general surgery portions? Can you tell us on that? Um, yes, sir. Uh, mostly were head neck oriented. Like uh, in 2023, the knee tests that was conducted, it was mainly based on ENT questions, general ENT questions, like otology, rhinology, laryngology questions were a lot. But in AIMS, INISS, they considered upon the head neck surgery questions. Many of questions came from the molecular pathogenesis of head neck cancers and all. There were around eight or nine odd ENT questions and. Same amount of general surgery questions like a surgical side infections and all the general surgery part, and uh, two or three questions from common to medicine biostatistics were also there. But yes, sir, the stress area was actually head neck surgery, head neck oncology, sir. That is the core. Yeah, sir. Very good. How many questions did you attend in this exam, doctor? Sir, I attended out of eighty questions. I attended around sixty-seven uh, questions, sir, because I was not sure of the biostatistics. It was kind of my weak point, and uh, I was uh, not sure about some ENT questions, sir. And uh, most of the head neck questions, I really was confident about. So yes, I attended. All, I attempted almost all of them, but uh, this was yeah sixty-seven questions. Okay, great, doctor. Now, how did you experience your interview, and what all you did in interview, and to go through that? Honestly, sir, I was really nervous before the interview. I got some feedback from my seniors about how the interview goes and all, and uh, I was really a kind of at my wit's end. Speed actually organized a mock interview the night before the actual date of interview, and it was quite nice. And uh, they asked me about this. Started with my backgrounds and all, and they asked me about a few questions like hyperparathyroidism, basic questions of tracheostomy, and. Uh, Some telecopalatine fossa questions and all, 
and they also asked me about the papers that i did in my pg ship and they asked me about those papers in details so it was quite uh, kind of i was really not happy giving the interview that yes they were not really like yes you are doing they saying this right or not but yes it was like they asked me the questions and i gave them the answers and uh, that's all that's what happened very nice doctor what is your message for students who are aspiring for mcs at the next surgery um sir the message is that uh, it is actually very much possible for because i gave this ina ss in 2023 and i was not able to be qualified in 2023 november ina ss but this time i did and uh, it is absolutely possible and you have to have a, this dream and like pursue this as uh, like this is the end there's no option b and obviously speed has helped me a lot the videos of tejas sir and you sir helped me a lot but they covered almost everything of fednick and uh, that's it like uh, i think i was pretty much determined to get it so i got it great doctor now can you i mean there's a time for you to kind of if you want to thank whom all you helped your career to achieve what you are today you can use this platform to do so um so i want to thank the almighty and uh, i want to thank my parents for this i also want to thank my teachers who actually showed me how to do certain head neck surgeries like thyroid surgeries back to surgeries back in my pg days and uh, i also thank speed app really really it was really helpful during my neat test preparation during my fnb preparation and also this time it really worked out i can't thank them enough the speed team they just are use i can't thank you enough and also a special thanks to my fiance which is all who was always by my side during my tough years so yeah there are a lot of people to thank i really can't remember all of all the names right now but yeah mm-hmm. it was kind of a team effort for me so thank you to all great doctor and uh, once again we wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career in mc academic surgery and oncology and keep going thank you so much. and your hard work determined effort and a passionate work has given you the results and definitely you will do great in your specialty wish you all the best doctor thank you so much sir thank, thank you so much